Hi, how are you? It's Aris Klasson and I am here with baby Luca, who is only two weeks old. You might have seen the videos when I was pregnant with him. Well, he's out now. He's a little bit tired and getting a little bit grumpy, so I'll keep this video very short. It's his very first stupid question of the day video, but he will be joining me for many, many, many more videos. But let's keep this one short. It's almost Christmas. And today's question is, what is Windows Sandbox? So I don't know if you've been following the Microsoft news, but just a few days ago, I believe it was yesterday, something called Windows Sandbox was announced. And Windows Sandbox is basically just, an, uh, just a desktop environment where you can run applications in isolation. And once you shut down the sandbox, everything's gone and you start over again when you start up the sandbox again. So it's just a temporary to run applications in isolation. Now, sandboxes have existed for <laughs> probably as long as computers have existed for. So it's nothing new, but this is the first official Microsoft sandbox environment. And people are excited about this. Some people are, you know, going like, well, we should have had this 10 years ago. But anyways, we have it now. Uh, there are other solutions out there that are non-Microsoft solutions. It's not the same thing as a virtual machine. And it's not the same thing as a container either. Uh, it's, it's similar though, but it's also something that we just run then and there in isolation. And then once you shut it down, everything's gone. And I know I'll be using that a lot because sometimes I download applications where I need to convert files and do other things and um, there's no checksum that I can check and I'm a bit insecure um, if this is a safe download. And sometimes you really want to do things in isolation and it's a, it's a great idea. Unfortunately, I think this is only available for Windows Professional and Enterprise, if I remember correctly. And uh, on the top of my tongue, I can't really remember which exact update this is available in, but it, it came out yesterday, so it's very new. And it's enabled under Windows Features. And I'll make sure to blog about it and show an example how you can use it and write a little bit more about sandbox environments. And yeah, that is the question. I didn't plan this terribly well. We, we went out for a walk, we came home and I was like, wow, he's sleeping. I can record a video. So I just wanted to do this video recording and also show off this little bundle of joy because he is adorable. With that said, um, if I don't get to do another video before Christmas, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for all the good discussions, conversations, comments and more in 2018 and I'm very excited about 2019 and this little bundle of joy. So yeah, stay in touch and take care. Bye!